what's going on beautiful people it's mr meyer with the fire here to take the collective vibration higher and this video is about the sun opposite to neptune and the sun is the center of the solar system and everything is going to revolve around its sphere as it gives life to all of us in astrology this represents the ego the persona how we identify with ourselves, as well as how we express ourself and take action neptune on the other hand is far out and let me say this before i go into this the sun is opposite to neptune today as i'm filming this and i was born under a sun neptune opposition so beyond all my work with clients and my intuitive knowledge on that end i really feel like i have the credentials to speak on this with authority neptune has an almost perfectly circular orbit it takes over 150 years to loop around the sun so neptune on the other hand is not a personal planet it's transpersonal and it's far reaching and vast in its effects and you'll see that it affects the culture neptune is the modern ruler of pisces so this planet is all about imagination dreams illusion or fantasy the sign placement that you find neptune actually shows the dream the culture wishes to bring into existence okay and when you have the sun and neptune in an opposition this essentially creates a connection or a conflict between the ego and the imagination okay and this will increase sensitivity psychic awareness and sublimation within life what the fuck does that mean derealization who the hell even am i i sure like to know <laughs> so the sun neptune opposition is a highly empowering experience but it's also a motherfucker in itself guys because on one note this is going to add inflation to the ego and help us recognize our divinity within our personal identity our self so to speak and this does engender a feeling of connectedness and peace within all things but at the same time depending on how you identify with yourself and how you identify with spirit this can be a disillusioning time where you may kind of feel disconnected from spirit, the universe, the goodness that life is. The challenge with this one, y'all, is that it takes a lot of time, a lot of work and effort to become the representation of one's highest ideal, okay? Success is a journey, it's also relative, and what I mean is what makes me happy might not necessarily make you happy, okay? The crazy thing about this one, guys, is it does reflect perfectionist tendencies. So it's important not to let perfect be the enemy of good when you are experiencing this energy or when you just are this energy. It's important to derive confidence and assurance from your intentions, your desire to be good. Sometimes Neptune gives escapist tendencies, a want to retreat because of this overwhelming sensitivity to life. And hey man, you can't be 100% on all the time. And when there's work, there has to be rest, there has to be balance, yes. So that's the goal, is to live an integrated life. The real challenge with Neptune and the sun is to transcend the self. And it's not what you do, it's how you do it that makes the world of a difference. So self-preservation is the number one law of nature, meaning self-destruction is the first crime of nature. So whatever we do, we better not hurt ourselves. But with the way the psychic sensitivity bubbles up and can sometimes overwhelm, it's only natural during this time to want to disintegrate, to want to leave who you are or change. So it's really important to have some grounding for your sensitivity, your spiritual ideals practical advice for this energy when you're going through it is to ground yourself to touch grass <laughs> i'm not even kidding put some rocks in your pocket so you can weigh yourself down do you guys think i don't have a rock in my motherfucking pocket keep that thing on me boy yeah you shitting me so water is also long been associated with neptune and mind you, this archetype is the primordial womb of creation that we all come from. And the crazy thing is, y'all, every human has this desire to return to where they came from. 
And that just means that there's a baseline level of homesickness. And you have to recognize home is where your heart is. And the waters that you came from, you will return eventually. But see it through and make sure that you live your life to the fullest. With this one, man, it can be really difficult to see life for actually what it is and see yourself for who you are. On some notes, this is polarizing because it's an opposition. So there can be a highly inflated ego. We can think way too much of ourselves, see ourselves as the divine, want to play God, so to speak. And we do co-create our reality. So I will say that's not necessarily bad. It's neutral. It's not what you're doing is how you're doing it. But on the same note, Neptune opposite the sun does often feel like a hopelessness or a despair or our ego drives are just vast and far off and impossible to reach. So it's really important to recognize your goals and break them down into concrete steps. Emotional honesty sometimes might come with great difficulty during this time because of how sensitive we are to the environment and to the world and to the culture. Okay. So the word is differentiation to be able to identify with yourself and recognize yourself as an individual is worth touching grass, looking yourself in the mirror and saying, Hey, John Smith, your name is John Smith. You're 38 years old. You are a male. You have a job. You're on earth right now. And you have friends and you're a cool person. And this world is better off with you. One thing I will say is that this one, I'm reading through my notes, y'all, because that was really just my intuitive dump. A couple of things I had uh, to get off the heart, off the rip, is that, you know, this one can make people really tired and sleepy because of that psychic perception. So it is worth acknowledging those feelings and allowing yourself to rest. Being within water can also be a good way to cleanse the aura psychically. To get in a lake or get in a pool, sit in a hot tub. If you can't do that, go into the bathtub, take a shower and dance in the rain. Let the water cleanse your aura. Daily spiritual practices are a must. If you are this type of person, I'm telling you, you need to meditate and pretend you're telling yourself this because damn near nobody wants someone to say, you gotta do that. But the things that we do every day creates the person that we wanna be, the person that we are truly, okay? So, with this one, we do need grounding for idealizing, idealism to really meet the world in a realistic and logical way. With this one, I will say that there is sometimes health issues, which is a neutral term. It doesn't mean good or bad, but just understand that health is reflected by the sun, our overall vitality and sense of wellness. So with this one, you may kind of see, you know, flare ups of chronic illnesses or you know, pain or inflammation kind of being highlighted. So it's really important to eat a good diet and to avoid, you know, fatty foods or excess or processed foods when the sun is opposite to Neptune. Sleep disturbance, you know, you could be extra tired, but at the same time, you may have a hard time sleeping. So I really recommend Amethyst personally. I know you saw me put that out of my pocket. But deeper than this, guys, with the amount of emotional volatility, it's important not to resist our emotions, okay? Beyond the escapism, the denial, sometimes there's illusions of grandeur that come with this one, seeing yourself as the universe, right? Which is cool, you are the universe, but at the same time, you have to differentiate enough to be like, this isn't the movie click, I can't just pause reality and fast forward it and change the channel at will. You know, I have to be John Smith for a second and play my role, okay? It takes a great amount of work to be more than a dreamy well-wisher in the parade of life, man. So that's the thing, is that your dreams are only gonna work if you do, and they are gonna take effort and action. So in conclusion, I will just say that you have to believe in yourself. That's the secret ingredient with this energy. Beyond believing in yourself, believe in life, the goodness that life has, that you are connected to a higher purpose and power. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you're going to find yourself more led by duty than desire. And that's not a life that you want to live, I submit. So in conclusion, you're great. God loves you. I don't care how you label divinity because it's there regardless. The universe loves you, meaning I love you. 
and you love me and we're a big happy family. Blessed be.